Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in Texas with Harvey Freebird and Good Citizen News, where apparently these two idiots were stirring up some trouble or something like that and ended up pissing somebody off. The uh, other guy got a face full of sauce, and as a result, Harvey Freebird got his uh, rather expensive camera equipment tossed in the lake. But unfortunately, during the incident, the uh, uh, cloud of pepper spray ended up hitting a nearby infant, and, well, more drama ensued, and uh, you will see the inhumanity of Good Citizen News and Harvey Freebird. He's supposed to get assaulted. He's supposed to get assaulted because your drunk friend is fucking assaulting him. And so he's supposed to get assaulted because your, your chick's standing down when? No, I was right here just talking to him. What, what's oh. There's no problem. I was just talking oh, to him and my son. And I was there just Well, are y'all with that guy? Are y'all with that drunk guy? Yeah, well, the point, the point is... He almost fell in the water getting off the boat. My fucking son. He's down wind. I defended myself. The shit went down in the wind. Okay. Good water. Help. So blame Help. It on him. It ain't my fault. I had the mason. Yeah, the court says you shouldn't stand down wind. Yeah, just like everything you idiots say, I'm going to definitely need a citation on that because that is a load of bullshit right there. Simply because if you idiots could figure it out, wind often changes direction and therefore you should be extremely careful about who is in the area when you use that stuff, you morons. It's like with one of the cardinal rules of gun safety. Know your target and know what's beyond it. Because if you don't know what's beyond or around the target that might get affected in a, in a way you don't want to, well then, you're going to end up paying the price for it later on because you can't call that pepper spray back like you can't call that bullet back. I mean, you two are complete numbskulls. Can I get the water? Oh, you lost your poor little camera. Oh, who cares? Because you know what? Actions have consequences. And all these years of you acting like a complete jackass toward everybody around you just ended up costing you in some way through a little bit of karma when that gentleman threw your camera into the water after you pepper sprayed him, probably through an incident that you instigated. I don't feel sorry for you one little bit. And the sad part is that that baby got ended up getting caught in the crossfire. But hopefully that mace won't permanently damage the eyesight of that little baby right there. You better hope it doesn't because I'm sure if the family... Uh, knew who you were, were, they would make you pay for the damages, dude. You see what caused me the first time? I was coming over here because there was about to be a fight over there. I need a whip. I got you. I got you. I'm sitting in my chair. He came up drunk. I warned him to get back. He wouldn't get back. I stood up. I pulled out my mace. He walked out at me again and I maced him. Yeah. Then he came. fucking cut on your nose, bro. You got a fucking cut. I'm live right now, dude. Oh, shit. Hey, what you have? Where's some shaving? What the hell did you do to set him off anyway? Oh, what a crybaby, pathetic little loser you are. I've had worse injuries working at Walmart. In fact, one time while writing up customers for oil changes, I slammed my uh, right hand in a car door without thinking that it was even still there. And, well, without even opening the door to get it out of there, I pulled it right on out and peeled the skin back on my uh, 
right middle finger just about a quarter of an inch and started bleeding all over the place. What did I do? I went and uh, put some uh, antiseptic on it and uh, wrapped it up in a bandage and just went about my business. I didn't cry about it. I just continued on with dealing with the customers because you know what? Shit happens. Harvey Freebird was just assaulted by that man right there. And then he attacked me again, threw my camera in the water. Oh, poor baby. That's your right to do that, bro. It's freedom of speech. I teach civil rights as a job. Oh, you teach civil rights. So uh, that's what you call this. Well, if you call yourself a teacher, then I hate to be a student in one of your classes because you'd be one of the worst teachers I would ever encounter. And if you pulled a stunt like this in any one of your classes, well, let me tell you something. Heads would be rolling, and it would be one of yours that would be rolling. Obviously did. Yeah, you you were you were arguing with me you before obviously, he walked up okay, on me. You obviously affected my family. Yeah, you were you, you started an argument with me before he walked <laughs> up on me, bro. So yeah, basically that, you hey, started it. That's a freedom of speech, right? Yeah, well you started it. You started it. You started it. You sound like a little punk kid, Harvey Freebird. I mean, that's all you are at this point is a punk kid who doesn't know how to use his equipment properly. Man, I would hate to see you at the gun range. You'd be violating all four of the uh, damn gun rules, and somebody would end up getting hurt. Oh, right or wrong? You're the one that teaches it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm down here. It's a public boat ramp. Public dude. boat ramp. Everybody's got the right to be here. It's the First Amendment. Yeah. Says the one cussing in front of young kids. Yeah. So yeah. You say we're what's wrong, but we haven't said a cuss word. We just defended ourselves, or he did. He did. Well, let me stop the video right here for a moment uh, and let you know that. Harvey Freebird unfortunately ended up being released after this incident, so he didn't get arrested. So I'm going to play a little bit of a snippet from after this incident was over with, and he had a little complaint, and then I'm going to ask a question of Harvey Freebird. Look, I don't know how many more of these incidences I can handle, Austin. I'm going to be honest with you. This is like every time we come down here, man, the cops are here, we get attacked. Huh? Yeah, but I'm tired of getting attacked, dude. This is every time we come down here, we get the cops called on us, we get attacked. My camera equipment is somewhere down there in that freaking lake. So every time you guys come out to this lake, the cops are called, you get attacked, and everything like that. Uh, you know, trouble seems to follow you guys around everywhere you go. You know, if you encounter an asshole, then you've encountered an asshole. But if you encounter assholes everywhere you go, it may be the possibility that you are the asshole. Well, asshole, in this particular incident, a little infant ended up getting an eye full of uh, mace and was suffering there for a little while. In fact, I hope that there's nothing wrong with the uh, infant's eyes, because you know what? That's going to come down on you ultimately for using that paper pepper spray or mace or whatever you want to call it in the vicinity of that child and not realizing that, well, the wind can affect that crap. I mean, duh! Dude, I was sitting in my chair not saying a word. You guys wouldn't leave me alone, and this guy walked right up on me and touched me. Then I stood up. I told him to get back. I pulled out my mace, and he came at me again, so I maced him. The wind's blowing 20 miles an hour. I'm sorry that it got on your child 20 feet away. Yeah, well, you're welcome. I, that was not the intention. Look, this is my best friend. I, the wind got, got it on him, too. 
Yeah, because the was, guy came at him again. All I was doing was defending myself. He threw my $1,000 camera in the water. I look at my nose, bro. He hit me in my nose. I'm bleeding. <laughs> I was sitting in my chair, dude, when he came up on me. I just can't take any more of this punk's excuses, so I'm just going to cut it off right here because, well, Harvey ended up walking away from this incident without being arrested. Yeah, he was detained for a short time, but we'll just have to see if charges are pressed or anything like that. I mean, I hope the family does press charges on Harvey Freebird for this because you know what you really should watch what you're doing with that freaking stuff you idiot oh I'm sorry I got your baby 20 feet away I'm so sorry I'm a dumbass that didn't understand that wind can blow that stuff down range oh I'm sorry I'm such a moron well at any rate guys normally I would say enjoy the vi I hope you enjoyed the video but not in this case. I hope uh, this shows you what a scumbag good guy audits and uh, Harvey Freebird are. I mean, they don't have the common sense to bear those damn uh, weapons anyway. I mean, jeez.